So I'm really nervous. Change really freaks me out. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm just gonna channel that into excitement. I'm Sunny and I'm getting an undercut today. I've been trying to figure out what to do with my hair for the longest time. I've been growing my hair for donation for about seven years. It's been like years and years since I've expressed myself at all with my hair. I haven't done any heat styling, like literally nothing, because it needs to be really healthy to donate. I love that I can continue being myself with this undercut. I can continue rocking the top knot, but it's gonna look elevated. It's gonna look like I tried and not look like I didn't try, which is usually what it looks like. I am Valerie and I am a hairstylist here at Harari. A gender neutral barbershop is some place that anyone can come in and feel comfortable. When they look in the mirror, they like really truly feel like themselves. We feel like the industry is so binary and standard. For me, like hair is just endless. You can do anything and everything. You never get bored. Me and Dre are gonna collab today on this look. Hi, I'm Dre and I'm a barber here at Harari. I typically specialize in more precision type haircuts, so like really tight fades, uh, do designs. Hey Sunny. Hey Dre. I am super excited for you to cut my hair today. Heck yeah, what are we doing? I am hopeful for a nice angular like undercut with some geometric designs and color. Sick, let's do it. You have a lot of hair. I do have a lot of hair. We're gonna do like a triangle shaped undercut with some little flares at the edge to make it look like an arrow. To start, create the section, which usually takes the longest. You have to see that the tip of the arrow matches up to like the center of the neck and use that as a reference point, as well as the ears you can use to make sure it's symmetrical on both sides. Once you have a clean section, wrap it in a little rubber band and we're gonna snip it off with scissors. Once the bulk is off, we can start to buzz. I typically start with a number two. That is my standard clipper attachment to begin an undercut because if you go longer than a two, it's too much hair to work with with the design and then anything shorter than a two, you won't be able to really see what's happening because it'll be too short, so there won't be any contrast. Once our canvas is clean, we're gonna use it's like a barber pencil, which is basically like a eyeliner pencil or like a crayon kind of to draw out the design. We're doing the mosaic, so it's gonna be like triangles, super scattered and like abstract. When doing the designs, I have to be careful because the trimmers that I use are super sharp, so the skin could turn a little red, so you just have to be really careful with the bleach application afterwards. Sweet and low sweetener, if you mix it in with the bleach, it's a lot more gentle on the scalp. So that's usually what we do to prevent any kind of chemical burn or scalp irritation. Once it's all etched out, we should be ready to bleach and tone and color. So once Dre is done with the undercut, I'm going to bleach it. Let that process until it is the color of the inside of a banana. And then once we get that color, we will rinse it out, pre-tone it. And then after that, we will color it with some fun colors. We will use smaller paint brushes to paint the style on, like pretty specifically. It's pretty crucial to rinse with very cold water. That's gonna prevent it from bleeding and running together um, and they'll, they'll stay separated and vibrant that way. After that, we will start with the styling of the updo. I'm gonna crimp her hair to give some texture. It will help with also giving some volume. Doing like two braids up the back. Doing like a little anchor in the middle. Make a little bun with that anchor and then I'm gonna kinda like twist all the braids around to do a braided top knot.
All right, you ready to see your new hair? Yeah, I'm All super right. stoked. Oh, dude, Isn't yes. it awesome? That's beautiful. Oh my God, that's just what I wanted. Yay. I feel like one of those cute little stained glass windows. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. stoked. Yay, I'm glad. I absolutely love it. I had no expectations. I just came into this really excited to see creatives be creative, and I'm super stoked. It feels very textured, like you can feel the design, which is like wild to me. So on the back of my head, I have a birthmark, and actually a lot of uh, people have the same birthmark in pretty much the same place. And a lot of people call it a raspberry or strawberry. And I think it's actually pretty cute because it just blends in with all of the dual tones. I think it went awesome. I think Sunny is the perfect model for this. I'm so glad that they were willing to do an undercut. We had creative freedom and we, and we kind of just like built off of each other and the design that Dre and I decided to do. This undercut is probably not going to change my everyday hair routine, but it is going to elevate the results of said top knot. Undercut designs typically don't last more than two to three weeks. Although it's a great two to three weeks to show off your hair, but yeah, it is super temporary. But that's what makes it more fun because you can change it up really often. I'm so glad that I decided to take the leap and do an undercut. I feel super free, I'm super excited, and if I need to look conservative, I can just put my hair down. <laughs> <laughs>